Hello and welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. Uh, as I discussed in a video or two ago, um, using this uh, time with our recent events in the news to, uh, you know, take care of some stuff around the house since I don't have to commute an hour and a half after work. And I previously showed you this image. Uh, this tree here and this one on the back side were leaning pretty heavy and that one was leaning towards the road. Uh, this tree and this tree and a couple others I took out. So as you can see down here in the bottom, really opened up this section of the sky and uh, still have a lot of splitting to do, but we need to update Stellarium with this new info. We're going to try something a little bit different this time. So let me pull up Stellarium real quick. Alright, so here we have Stellarium opened up and this is the custom uh, polygon landscape I had before. As you can see, real narrow viewpoint of the sky. Um, we go back down here, there's east, southeast. So this is where those trees were taken out. But we're going to try to do something a little bit different this time and actually make a picture out of this. So let me minimize this and pull up that picture. Okay, so what we have here is a panorama. Uh, looks like on the stitching on the sides, not going to be quite white right um, looks like we got the corner right here uh, yeah I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to play and do a new one but for now let's go ahead and do this all I did was took my cell phone out there set it in uh, panoramic uh, capture mode and spun 360 where the telescope normally sits. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to remove this sky and to do that we're going to go into Photoshop and let's do a new. I already have a custom as you can see uh, 4096 by 2048 RGB color background is transparent and that should be everything so let's go ahead and create now the middle of the image so the horizon line is going to be right in here about even with this panel line here so now we're going to go over here to where I have that image saved. I'm just going to drag it and drop it onto that. Now our horizon line is right in here. So we need to drag this up until the horizon line gets about even with that. And let me deselect that. The next thing I'm going to want to do is come down here, do a rectangle tool, uh, select a black point, and I'm just going to draw a black rectangle down here at the bottom. and select away from that. Okay, now select our image. The next thing we're going to want to do is come up here, select and color range, and we've got our eyedroppers here. So the first thing, as you can see here, I've already done some sample colors. Um, I 
but we would start by selecting anywhere in the image to get our start point. Let's move that fuzziness up. Then we're just going to add some extra points in here so you can see we're not capturing these clouds. And let's see, these are treetops. I think that'll be okay for now. So if I bring this down, now we come up. If you'll notice, I'm looking at this little area right here, and I'm trying to just select something up in that area. And we've got another area right in here, and that looks good for now. So now we're going to just click OK. And as you can see, it selected the driveway and some of these other areas here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom in. Go to my edge. Got some of the tree trunks. So I'm going to go up here to my lasso tool. Or is it a rectangle tool? Let me use the rectangle tool. Or no, this guy. Yeah, I'm going to use the rec rectangle tool there. And I'm just going to drag and highlight. And if you notice, I have uh, the subtraction selected. And I'm just dragging it over sections that I don't need to be masked. We're just going to go ahead and do that. Oh, that looks okay. Get rid of that one. Go through here. Let's make sure we don't get in that house. You can see a little bit of here in the stumps and the split wood. So we're just going to go ahead and mask off that or remove the mask from those areas. And we'll pull this over. And pull that. I'm not going to worry too much about right in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and just crudely doing this right now. Let's go ahead there, there, all right, so now let's zoom back out with the screen. And now we can come down here and hit this little uh, add mask layer. And then we need to do a control I in Windows to invert that. And that is now our landscape panoramic. And I could go back and clean up some stuff, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to save as. I'm going to go to my desktop. I've already got a new folder here called Ryan Home. I'm going to save that as a PNG. And 
just give it a name. Click save. That's fine. And now let's open up that directory. So we go here. There's our panoramic. Now the other thing we're going to want is a landscape file. So I'm just going to go over here to the moon. Copy that landscape file. This was under the Stellarium landscapes directory. Let's go ahead and open that up. Oops. We don't need any of that. So we need the new file name. That's all we should need, so we'll save that. And now we'll just go ahead and copy this. Into our landscapes directory. Now let's go ahead and reopen Stellarium. Okay, so if we did this right, let's open up the Sky and Viewing Options window, or F4. Go up here to Landscape. There's my home file. I'm not going to set this one as default just yet. But you can see there's some cleanup I'm going to need to do. Uh, but our horizon isn't too terrible. This is clearly wrong. Um, but north, flare should be right up in here. So let's fast forward. Okay, so I know the player should be sitting up in here. So I clearly need to move that north over a hair. Um, and I need to fix this. I might take a camera out there and uh, do more of a, you know, other than my cell phone. But that is pretty awesome if I could get that to seamlessly marry up right here. That would be great. So I am going to revisit uh, taking the image. Um, maybe yeah, I'm going to revisit taking the image, but. That'll make it much nicer when I'm looking for targets. So for example, let's look for Horsehead Nebula. Eh, okay. But it is nice to 
see now when I'm going to be impacting those trees. I will definitely have to keep that in mind when the leaves come into play. But yeah, we will definitely have to uh, definitely have to look at this uh, again, but. But yeah, once I get the uh, better photo, one that'll stitch better here. This will work out pretty well. So that is in a short video how you can update with a custom picture, panoramic picture. Um, clearly, I need to do a better job of getting my landscape uh, picture done, but it'll work once I get a better picture. So with that, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Hope you found this informative. I'll revisit this when I get a better uh, set of pictures for this panoramic and might go through it a little bit slower uh, but uh, hope you found it informative and uh, please stick around for the outro as always clear skies and have a good one thanks for watching yet another episode from the astro ninja journey channel really appreciate your viewership in our upper right we have the latest video that i have posted prior to this one down in the lower right, we have what YouTube thinks you will enjoy. Below is a subscription link. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you so choose, ring that bell if you want to get notified of something new, and as always, thank you, clear skies. Remember, dude.